Daniel J. Smith Jr., a BSN sponsored athlete, personal trainer, bodybuilder, and fitness model from Wolverhampton. Bodybuilding is not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. Everything I do, I do with 100% effort. I train 24 hours a day, seven days a week. One hour is in the gym, 23 hours out. It's all or nothing. The more you put in, the more you get back out. Bodybuilding is not about impressing others, it's about the impression that you put on yourself. You get back what you put in, you give 100%, and 100% will be given back to you. I love bodybuilding, um, it's, what I, it's what I do, it's what I live and breathe for. Um, first started just getting into weight training and powerlifting and it, it kind of educated me. I learned from that that bodybuilding was for me really, you know, um, working on my physique um, and you can obviously get the factors of powerlifting and just general weightlifting in as well. You're just taking it to the next level really um, and training with discipline. I've never really imagined myself being a bodybuilder until I got to a stage of maybe two years into my training when I was doing really well and I was just loving getting stronger and hitting PBs and taking pictures and putting them online and I just found out that it was me. Um, before that point I did want to become a fitness model and I wanted to, I always had a dream ever since I was a kid to, um, to be on the front, of, front cover of a magazine. Um, I achieved that late last year um, when I featured on the front of Beef magazine um, so that was a, that meant a lot for me. I meant a, it was a big deal for me. Um, I'm off season at the moment, but I am dieting. So you know, just seeing how I go. Um, and at the end of my diet phase, if I if I feel I'm ready, then I'm going to jump back on stage. Um, first trophy I got was the um, NAC um, Junior South Coast Championships. Um, the previous year, um, I had four attempts, four attempts, and I never got a first place. Um, the, my very first competition, it was, you know, I, I went in, you know, disorganised, wasn't prepared for it um, and I got a lot of, um, <laughs> I got, you know, people laughing at me on stage and stuff and from there I thought I'd come off stage and, you know, prove myself. So I took some time out, done it properly, came back and, um, yeah, took first place at the NAC, which then qualified me for, um, to, to, to go to the next stage, which was the UK Championships. The first time it was nerve-wracking, it was nerve-wracking, so, um, <clears throat> I mean, getting up, up on stage in front of, um, you know, in some cases, hundreds of people um, is going to be nerve-wracking. Um, knowing that everybody, you know, back at home and all your friends and all people on Facebook and Twitter and stuff are going to know about it too. So, you know, you have to really impress. When it comes to the day, there's no going back. You can't really do anything else. So there's a lot of pressure. Um, but once you get used to it, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you, you look forward to it. Um, just getting back on stage, doing the whole routine again and just keep pushing. My mindset's more focused, it's focused, so you know, I like to keep my mind completely on what's going to happen, my routine, going over my routine over and over again, um, as well as that, just making sure I'm not going to mess up on my posing, so practice on the posing, um, on top of that as well, making sure I've got everything up with me, my tanning, if you, if you make one mistake, it could all go wrong, um, which is a lot if you've took, you know, months to prepare for this, for the show, so on the day, it's all about staying focused, just making sure everything is going to come down to plan. Your posing, your routine, um, your tanning, your nutrition, everything is going to be bang on. So preparation is the key really. Um, heroes, I mean in, in terms of bodybuilding, um, I would say I go, I go not old school. You know, back to the 1990s, you know, Flex Wheeler, um, you know, Ronnie Coleman, Doreen Yates, all of these guys. Um, but you know, you can look way back and, you know, into Arnie and people that set the trend as well. Um, so, but per, me personally, I find to <clears throat> I look outside of bodybuilding, people that have made it from you know my situation, you know, from the from the streets that are say you know Dizzy Rascal, people like that, have made a name for themselves and you know really pushed themselves and stayed motivated. So more outside bodybuilding, people just more have been in my position, and I'm trying to be in the same position of them where they've made it. If anyone was interested in you know getting involved in bodybuilding, advice I would give them is you know, the most important thing first is to make sure you're ready. So um, give 100% to your training, making sure that you do your research, which is, which is probably you know, the most important one out of all of them. If you're not doing your own research, you're never really gonna know what's, what it requires to you know, be where you wanna be. So yeah, research, 
make sure you get someone that's reliable and make sure that you know exactly what you're getting yourself in for because you know you're gonna have to make some sacrifices to you know your time um, family and friends might get you know you might have to cut some of them off sometimes if you know if the true if the true friends and family they will understand um, as long as you you know you are pushing 100 percent and you are serious about it yeah i mean my training at the moment um i'm focusing on at least six days a week um some days i've been to get you know two sessions in a per day um, focusing on one muscle group each training session as well so I can give it 100% uh, focus on the correct rep, rep ranges, um, rests so I don't have to focus on uh, my muscle getting cold when I prioritise another one just giving it 100% at the moment so it just enables me to train you know 10 to 12 times um, per week split between the six days um, I'd say most important part of my training um, would have to be the volume um, I'm trying to keep the, the volume consistent um, sometimes you know you're tired so you don't quite stick to you know religiously to your rep ranges um the specific sets you know the weights but you're gonna you're just gonna be consistent really so keep the volume up so i make sure my rest periods are consistent throughout keep that makes my my uh, my session intense and obviously overloads the muscle itself um, i don't have half-hearted days i'm all just all about keeping it consistent as much as possible at the moment i don't set days in terms of what i'm going to train on each day um, what i do is just because i'm training one muscle group um one muscle group per session it enables them to have a little bit of flexibility. So, you know, Monday might be chest, um, but the following Monday might be shoulders. So, depending on how I feel on the day, um, I'll train, you know, any particular muscle group. So, just giving that even balance. Sometimes, you you know, you when you're training things like chest, your tries feel a bit of an effect. You're tired some days, so you might want to train something that's a bit more casual, um, like calves or adductors, as opposed to, you know, a big muscle group like back. So I just give myself that flexibility at the moment. So um, yeah, some days I have to train twice a day, but um, I'm happy to do that because uh, I enjoy training. I love training at the moment. Don't do much cardio at all, really. Um, I, I save that for when I get closer to competitions or closer to a, a photo shoot or anything, you know, around them lines. For now, I just focus on the weights. You know, if you control your carbs, um, monitor your good fats in your diet as well, and ensure you get enough protein, you're, you're maintaining and grow on muscle itself while you are dropping body fat. So I'm keeping it you know, steady at the moment. Cardio wise, I just do a bit of a warm up um, at the moment. When I do get close to competition, um, that's when I'll incorporate cardio, start off 20 minutes for a 20 minute session and um, you know, gradually increase it, maybe week by week, maybe every few days, it just depends how I'm dropping body fat. But you know, I use it as that tool closer to competition to, to get that final nail in the coffin. Um, the, the big difference between um, on, on season and off season um, in my training is that I think off season because I've got that much calories and that much carbs and stuff in me I can just focus on more with the, the power lifting side of things more of the, the the training I enjoy doing um, when it comes to competition it has to be you have to be disciplined you have to be strict um, and it, it completely changes everything you know your rep ranges and your sets out, out of your comfort zone really but I do enjoy my training a lot more um, off season um, I enjoy my food obviously a lot more because I'm, I'm eating at will, I'm having a lot more carbs, calories, protein, everything um, and having my treats in between as well but it does slow you down a little um, so you do need a bit, a bit more rest um, and a bit more recovery I find too um, but on the season I just keep everything going, it's all about intensity so I do recover uh, quicker it's just that the, the, the sessions itself are a bit, little more intense. My advice I would give to anyone trying to take their training to the next level is um, First of all, you know, look yourself in the mirror because um, that's, that's the person that you have to look at to every, every single day. Um, so look yourself in the mirror, see what position you're in and see how realistic it is at that present moment as well. You know, um, it's all good saying you want to knock your training up or you want to compete or you want to go for a photo shoot or be a model. It's all good saying it, but you have to plan. Without a plan, it's just 10 times harder than you, you know, you'd ever imagine. Yeah, training is important, but it's nothing without, you know, an adequate um, training program and making sure your nutrition's on point.